Hi guys, uh, this is the sixth video of the Dynamic Chromic Algorithms video series. In this video, I will introduce the knapsack problem and show how to solve it by using Dynamic Chromic. To understand the problem, let me give you a real life example. Think about a developer, or uh, if you are a developer, just think about yourself. Let's suppose that there are some projects that you can work on. Depending on the amount of work and difficulties, the time required to complete the projects differ, so the money you will gain. For example, you need to spend 4 days for project 1 to finish it and uh, gain $500. Whereas it will take 3 days to finish project 2 and you will gain $250. Also, let's suppose that each project is due in a month and you cannot finish all the projects in this time. You need to complete only some of them so that you will gain as much as you can. This problem is called a knapsack problem. If you are allowed to do same projects more than once, then it's unbounded knapsack problem. Otherwise, it's called binary or zero one knapsack problem, where you choose either to do project or not. To formulate the problem, let me introduce you some notation. First, let capital M be the number of items, or like the number of projects uh, that you can work on in our example. Then let capital C be the knapsack capacity, a month or uh, 30 days in our case. Also let uh, the i denote the value of item i or like the amount of money you will gain from project i. Lastly, wi uh, denotes the weight of item i which corresponds to the amount of time required to complete project i in the example. Now we are ready to formulate the problem and solve it by using dynamic programming. Before showing you how to do it, it's worth mentioning that we can solve this problem by using mathematical optimization as well. To learn how to do it in Python, please click the link above. Here I will focus on how to solve the binary knapsack problem instead of the unbounded one. Now, let's develop our dynamic programming algorithm to solve it. First, we construct the value function mic for each item i and capacity c. mic represents the maximum value that can be obtained with capacity less than or equal to c using items up to i. Note that the solution to the problem can be obtained by computing M capital N uh, capital C as its the maximum value uh, with the capacity is less than or equal to C using all items. In the first step, we initialize the value functions. M0C equals to 0 for each C because no item is included. Then in the second step, using a nested loop, we iteratively update MIC as follows. To compute MIC, we have only two options for item i. If we don't include item i and leave it out, then the best we can do with items up to uh, i minus 1 and capacity c is m i minus 1 c. If we include item i, then we gain v i, but uh, we need w i weight in return. So the best we can do with the remaining items up to i minus 1 and capacity c minus w i is uh, m i minus 1, c minus w i. Thus we get v i plus uh, m i minus 1 and c minus w i if we can include item i. Note that we can include uh, item i only if w i is less than or equal to c. Otherwise we cannot include it so that m i c is equal to uh, m i minus 1, c. Hence we can compute m i c in this way for any item i and capacity c. It's clear from the nested loop that the time complexity of this algorithm is uh, order of capital N times capital C. And the speed complexity is also order of uh, capital N times capital C from the size of the value functions. Now let's code this algorithm in Python by writing a function called knapsack. The inputs of this function are the values and weights of the items uh, as lists and capacity as a float. First, we compute the number of items, uh, capital N. Then in the first step, we initialize the value functions m0c to 0 uh, for each c. In the second step, we have a nested loop. In the outer loop, we iterate over each i from 1 to capital N, whereas we iterate over each c in the inner loop. We update the value function mic in this nested loop. Lastly, we return uh, m capital N capital C, the maximum value obtained with capital C as an output. To implement the algorithm, I solved the example I described at the beginning of this video. This is how we initialize the input values. Values v are the profits of the projects. Uh, weights w are the uh, days required to complete each project. As the projects are due in a month, the capacity capital C is 30 days. 
When we run the function with these inputs, we can obtain the maximum amount of money you can gain in a month by doing some of these projects. Actually, we don't know which projects you need to do because we didn't keep track of them in the code. I think it would be a good exercise to keep track of the projects in the code so that uh, you can obtain which projects you need to do to have the maximum benefits. In this video, I talk about how to solve binary knapsack problem by using a dynamic primitive algorithm. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any question. In the next video of the dynamic problem video series, I will introduce the longest uh, common subsequence problem and show how to solve it by using dynamic programming.